Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So November is shaping up to be an amazing month. I've got three reading events happening. One is Nonfiction November, and I've got two books set up for that. The second event is Hal for the Holidays, which is a three-month-long event where we read short stories from Hal Clement, a science fiction writer. And the third event is New Worlds November, and this video is going to be talking about my TBR for New Worlds November. New Worlds November was created by Scott and Becky over at the Bookish Bryants, and I will leave a link to their channel down below. And it is a fun event. It uh, talks about science, or it revolves around science fiction. So the purpose of this event is to get you introduced into science fiction if you're a newbie, and if you're not a newbie, to you know delve into the world of science fiction and read what you want and enjoy it. We have a number of co-hosts for this event, myself included. I will leave a link to everyone's channels down below. And when you're reading science fiction, if you're if you're a booktuber, uh, we encourage you to upload uh, your book reviews for New Worlds November and tag them with the tag New Worlds November. If you're not a YouTuber and uh, you just want to take part, I encourage you to comment in everyone's videos. Uh, look for each video using the hashtag New Worlds November. And let people know what you're reading and, uh, you know, let them know what you thought about the books. We want to make this a community event. So, if you're interested, Scott and Becky have created a number of prompts for each of the different weeks of the month of November. And the prompts are as follows. So, for week one, we have terrestrial. So, reading any science fiction work that uh, involves Earth or that takes place on Earth. Week two is extraterrestrial. So any science fiction work that uh, takes place outside of Earth, ideally with aliens, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a group exploring the planet Mars or a far off planet, whatever you want. Week three is classic science fiction. So look for a work that was written before 1965. And uh, you know what? Find out what science fiction was like prior to that, to 1965, during the classic age of science fiction. And then the final week, week four, is robots or artificial intelligence. So find yourself a short fiction or a novel that has robots or artificial intelligence in it, like Terminator or iRobot, you know, books like that. So myself, I have chosen a number of science fiction short stories for each of the different weeks, and we're gonna go through them right now. So week one, Terrestrial, I have chosen for Sale, Reasonable, and this was written in 1959 by uh, Elizabeth Veronica Mann Borges, and this is a dystopian written as a job application by a human in an automated future. So that to me sounded very interesting, and the author, uh, Miss Borges, she was born in 1918, and uh, she lived until 2002, so she was 83 when she passed, but she was an expert in maritime law. What do I have here? An expert in maritime law and policy and the protection of the environment. So she was born in Germany, but she left prior to World War II and uh, eventually immigrated to Canada and became a Canadian citizen. And uh, her work in maritime law and the environment won her the Order of Canada. So, wow. So she's the first uh, author I'm going to be reading for week one. And her novel is in The Future is Female, and I will leave a link to that book up here for you. And this is an ebook that I recently picked up, and it is 25 short stories by female science fiction authors, and all of them were written in the classic age of science fiction, so prior to 1965. And I thought to myself, you know, the books that I have were all written by guys, and it would be nice to have a couple stories written by females. And uh, so that's why I picked it up. Week two is extraterrestrial, and I've got three short stories lined up for this week. And the first one is called First Contact. It was written in 1945 by Murray Leinster. Uh, he was born in 1896, and uh, he lived until 1975, so he's about 78 years old. And Murray Lester was a pen name, so his real name was William Fitzgerald Jenkins. And he was an American uh, writer of science fiction and general fiction. And he's written over 1,500 works of fiction, including hundreds of scripts and 
or radio scripts and television plays. So he's a very prolific author. And he was also an inventor. So Mr. Jenkins here, what did he do? He is best known for the front projection process used in special effects. So this is an in-camera visual effects process in film production where you have the foreground combined with a pre-filmed background. So he's the one that invented that. Wow. So his book, First Contact, talks about two technologically equal species are making first contact in deep space. And this was the first instance of a universal translator. So this is going to be a fun read. I'm going to be buddy reading this with Scott over at the Bookish Bryants. So First Contact is from this book, the Science Fiction Hall of Fame book. And this has a number of short stories in it. And uh, yeah, so I'll be picking a number of short stories from this book as well. So the other book that I'll be reading for Extraterrestrial is called UPVC. It was uh, published in 1999. And this book, I'll give you the premise right now. In his second incarnation, the doctor purchases a window that grants him a piece of his past. Five incarnations later, the doctor is reminded of his childhood and a past he can never have. So the doctor, and this is from More Short Trips from Doctor Who. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television show where the producers came up with a brilliant idea to replace the lead actor by having him regenerate into another actor. And it's all science fiction, so because of that, it works. This is going to be a fun book. It was written by Paul Fansworth. Uh, he's a British author known for his comedic writings. Uh, but he did start to write a little bit for Doctor Who. And he was a regular contributor to fanzines, including the Doctor Who Appreciation Society's Cosmic Mask. So uh, that's really all the information I have on Mr. Uh, Mr. Fansworth here. I don't have a lot more information, but uh, I do remember reading UPVC back in 1999 and really enjoying that story. So I'll be reading it again for New Worlds November. Week three is classic science fiction. So that's anything written prior to 1965. So I've already selected a number of works that have written prior to 1965, but you know what, I wanted to uh, choose this one in particular because it sounded very good. It's called Contagion, and it was written in 1950 by Catherine Ann McLean. And this is another short story from The Futurist Female. And I'll put a link, or I'll put an image of that book up here for you. And Miss McLean, I'll give you a synopsis of the book first. When they touch down on an alien planet, Minos, the last thing the crew of the Explorer expected was to find other humans. They'd come through 36 light years of space only to find another group of humans had settled on the planet generations before. Still, it was a beautiful place, except for the contagion. So that sounded very interesting. And it was written by Catherine Ann McLean. And she was born in 1925 and she passed away recently in 2019. So she was 94 years old. And she was an American science fiction author, best known for her short stories of the 1950s which examined the impact of technological advances on individuals and society. Uh, this particular one, Contagion, was written when she was a laboratory technician in 1947. Oh, 1947? When she worked as a laboratory technician in 1947, she began writing science fiction. All right, so she started writing science fiction then, in 1947. And Contagion was published in 1950. Her fiction has often demonstrated a remarkable foresight in scientific advancement. So I'm wondering if this is going to be hard science fiction. I hope so. But that is my choice for week three, uh, Contagion by Catherine Ann McLean. Week four is robots or artificial intelligence. And for this one, I've chosen two novels. And the first one is called Answer, written in 1947 by Hal Clement. And Hal Clement was a science fiction author. He has a degree in astronomy from Harvard University. So he's one of the first that started writing hard science fiction. And the premise of this book is essentially a space-based supercomputer tackle psychology. So this will be an interesting read. The other book that I've selected for week four, and it's another short story, is called Zima Blue. And it was written in 2007 by Alistair Reynolds. And the premise of this one is, a special shade of blue has gradually taken over the works produced by the artist Zima, 
who has moved his consciousness into an indestructible cyborg body. Wouldn't we all like to be in an indestructible cyborg body? So that he can experience lethal environments for his art. After moving up to planet size creations in his trademark color, his final work is announced as involving a small swimming pool. <laughs> it's a story about self-discovery. So this will be an interesting one. And I selected this one. Actually, I selected um, Alistair Reynolds because uh, of another booktuber, Bill's Books. And I'll leave a link to his channel down below as well. And uh, he talks a lot about uh, Alistair Reynolds. And I thought that I'd pick up uh, a short story from him so that I could, uh, you know, see what, uh, see what his writing style is like. Alistair Reynolds himself has a PhD in astrophysics, and he actually worked at CERN in uh, Europe uh, for a little while. So he is very knowledgeable in not just physics, but astronomy, and uh, it's going to be some good hard science fiction. Anyways, that is what I'll be reading for New Worlds November. That's what's planned. If I have time, I'll read a couple more short stories from one of the very many books that I've collected. And that's it. So let me know down in the comments below what you plan on reading, if you plan on taking part. I do hope that you take part. And I do hope that you, you know, not just read, but comment in uh, various uh, videos that are uploaded. Again, look for the hashtag New Worlds November. And uh, be sure to let people know what you're reading. And if you do upload videos, tag your videos with the hashtag New Worlds November so that we can find them and watch them as well. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. They'd come through 36 light years of space, only to find that another group of humans had settled on the plant... Settled the plant generation. The second novel, Novel. The third short story I'll be reading for week two, which is extraterrestrial, is... Oh, you know what? That's it. There aren't any more. And Ace was a companion for this seventh Doctor. Let's start again. So that story is coming from this book, uh, the science... The second... Oh, and I should tell you that that uh, story is coming from... Hold on. For week two, week two is extraterrestrial, and I've got three short stories lined up. And the first one is First Contact, written by... Written by... The next book... The next book... 